Hey there guys! Today I wanted to show you my doll clothes that are from like companies other than American Girl. Most of them I don't actually know where they came from, but figured might as well show them. And the clothes that I have made for my dolls. So these are normally stored in my doll cabinet, but I've taken them out here for better lighting because I'm doing this slightly later in the day and the sun has gone down. So let me just grab the stuff out of these bags and I will show you. Alright, so starting off my doll clothes from other companies, there's this pretty dress that came on my Caroline doll when I found her. It's from some company named Funrise Toy Corporation, so I'm not sure what brand that exactly is. It's really pretty, has nice lilac and bright pinks and yellows. So it's a really cute, summery dress. And then this one is actually a baby dress, but I took in the side seams so that it fits as another longer dress. So this is one I kind of modified. And then this is a new one. I found it in that $20 bin that I talked about. But it's this really cute swimsuit. I think it's fascinating how it has Velcros on the straps to make it easier to put on and off. It came with this cute little sarong. And so I'm looking forward to next summer using that. Another outfit in that bin were these cute jeans with flowers and pretend pockets bands on the end and it came with this shirt which I find this shirt absolutely adorable it's coming out the colors coming out a bit weird it's actually a bit brighter than this but it has lots of fun little confetti dots and I think it's super cute and I'm waiting for spring to use that I have no clue when where or what these are from um I believe they were given to me in this sort of set when I was really young along with a bunch of other doll clothes. No clue any brand but I think they're kind of cute if a little outdated because of the bell bottoms and they have actual little pockets and I'm never actually sure if this is supposed to be the front of the pants or the back. So who knows? I have a pair of jeans that I've had forever since childhood. They're actually really nice and versatile. They have a snap, they have a zipper. They're really well made, but once more, I'm not actually sure what company these are from. Seeing if there's a tag. Oh, there is a tag. Let's see. Mm, just says made in China. Oh, my cat's coming to say hi. This is Georgie. He likes being in the center of attention. I'm honestly amazed he hasn't shown up earlier than now in one of these videos. Say hi, Georgie. He was napping on my bed. Well, this is going to be fun to do around him because he's not going to move, are you? All right. Now, these are from a doll company called Maddie. There was like a Maddie doll where she had an electro thing in her so you could put on different clothes and she would say things. Oh, thank you for moving, George. So this has a cute little butterfly embroidered and I like all the pockets. And it came with this velour type shirt super cute cheetah print and a little vest this is another one I've had for a while it also came with a couple accessories like a candy bar and a flashlight so it's pretty cute I don't normally pair it all together I'll use like just the shorts or just the shirt here's one that gets a lot of use and this was part of a gardening set, so it came with like a watering can and a spade and a trowel and um, 
a little like crepe thing as well as uh, shoes and a little apron but I often use just this piece on just these pieces on their own these cute um, see it's not quite showing up right on screen but it has green and orange and really dark brown and pink stripes and this super cute almost cropped top that ties at the bottom and has little buttons on it and I think it's super cute I like putting Nikki in this And this is another thing from childhood. It's a um, button-up shirt. I actually replaced the buttons on this shirt recently because half the old ones had fallen off. They were made out of felt for some reason, and they're just fake buttons. But I figured I would spruce up the shirt by resealing buttons on. And this often gets paired with this skirt. If I'm recalling right, it, they actually came in a set together. But once more, I got these when I was really young, so I really can't remember. I think they were part of a Christmas gift from my grandparents. And here's a nice oversized t-shirt. It isn't for American girl size dolls, I don't think. I think it's a little larger. But it's cute and oversized on them. And it actually doesn't have any fasteners on it, so it goes on over the head. And then there's a cute little snowman sweater for winter time, which I think might have actually been for a teddy bear. And it just has another little made in China. Oh, wait, that's right. I think these might have actually come together. Yeah, it was a set with this. And this, and there was a pair of red tennis shoes and a pair of black oxfords and i still have both of those but yeah i remember now it was a set with like two outfits for dolls all right well i remember it was the fact that it had the same sort of tag in it that reminded me and then here is a coat from our generation this came on my samantha doll when i got her and I think it's a really great quality. It has zipper, cute little detail, and it has, oops, I was bringing the camera over to the side. It has leopard print on the inside. It's cute little fur. So my doll will all be ready for winter. And then lastly, this was also in that $20 bin. It's actually for a Build-A-Bear, but I was thinking about stitching up the back and making it so that it would fit a 18-inch doll really well because I really like it. It's very pretty, has little roses, and I was thinking it would be a great little ballet outfit for Marisol. So that's all my non ag brand, and now I will open up this, a little DuckTales bag from maybe long ago, which has all of my clothes that I've sewn in it. Alright, now for homemade clothes. The, the first group of stuff I'm going to show you was all made by my mother for either me or my sisters when they were younger. Uh, this is a dress which I've always kind of considered Christmassy in kind of 1860s-ish time frame. But it's really cute. It's a deeper red than showing up right here. And I don't know, it's just always made me think like Christmassy or late fall, or early winter. And then my mom made this dress out of a fabric panel. And there was like a little girl's dress that matched. And it has really cute little details with these teddy bears with flowers and flower pots and bumblebees and then there's a ladybug motif going through and it ties in the back and it also came with a little hat to make and there's also a purse which is oh it's actually over here not in the accessories it's also a little purse and then the last group of stuff I have that my mom made is this set of multiple clothing pieces so there's a dress a 
skirt, a shirt with the same fabric that's under here, a reversible vest, so it can either be on the green side or the flowery side, and a scrunchie because this was made in the uh, early 90s, late 80s. And then things that my oldest sister made for me. She made me this set with some pants that look like jeans, but they're actually like a cotton material. This shirt and it had a vest. So this definitely has 90s vibes too to it. Um, she made me these two, this little jumper that I love using where it's bright pink and it has little polka dots and then a matching overalls so if two dolls want to coordinate and then this little romper which is a little wide on the dolls but it has tie strings so I can cinch it to the right size for them and that lace never likes staying down properly so those were made by my sister and then there's the stuff that I've made and I like sewing a lot so there's this really fluffy skirt with layers of tulle and the satiny layer on top and I like using this one for holidays this shopkin skirt which <clears throat> sorry my niece went through a stage where she really loved Shopkins, so I ended up picking up some fabric to make doll clothes for her, and I wound up having a scrap, but just the right size to make a little skirt. So I went ahead and did that. And then a peanut skirt for Easter. Some leggings using a material that I also used for a shirt for my mom. a button-up shirt that matches one that I have. I made myself one too and it has a little pocket and actual buttons. And then a sweater that matches one that I made for myself. It's a little like flyaway sweater. And then Two attempts at t-shirts, which slightly failed a bit. I didn't cut it on the right grain pattern. So I am still working on making a functional t-shirt. You would think they would be easier than they are. Um, this was my first try at making pants for dolls. And it went pretty well, I think. It has, like, workable pockets and... Um, little loops and contrast pockets on the back. I made these right around Valentine's Day, so. And then I have these dresses that I made using a pattern from Pixie Fairy. And they have little pockets, which I sort of adore. And this was made using an old t-shirt of my brother's, and this one was leftover scraps of fabric from a shirt that I made. A little Halloween dress that I drafted. I love the little bell sleeves, how those turned out on this. A peplum dress for springtime, which is... I think it looks like a little shirt with skirt underneath. This is another matching dress to one that I have. These two suspender skirts, which I made matching ones for my niece's dolls and for her. This one has little music note ribbon on it. Three swimsuits made from old tank tops of mine. 
So four of my dolls can go swimming. Um, a romper, a little chicken romper, which I think is very cute. And when I want um, Kit to be modern, I put her in that. And then one of the most recent things I made was this um, hospital gown. Sorry, don't know where the word went. Um, a hospital gown for my dolls. And one other thing, which is actually on Molly. So let me grab her. All right, here's Molly. So to go along with hospital gown, I made a scrub set with the shirt and the pants with the little pocket. So there are those. And then there's one last thing I want to show you. All right, last part of this video is I wanted to show you the things that I've made that are in my Etsy shop, which I'll link below. I have two Halloween dresses, just like the one that I have for my dolls. They have super cute little pumpkins on them and bell sleeves. They have snaps on the back so that they're easy to get on and off and won't get snagged in dolls' hair like Velcro does. I have another chicken romper that I made, which has cute little chicks hatching out of eggs and chickens and the one that I made for my niece she always likes using this on Blair and it once more has snaps and then I have some clothing sets where I made little capris with a contrasting fabric and little peplum crop tops that are nice and fully lined and have snaps. So that one has polka dots and cacti. And then I have this feathered and polka dot one. So once more, it has the little bands. And then it has a matching crop top. And then I have the one that's the inverse of those colors. So this one has polka dotted pants and a feathery top. So another little crop top set. And then I have two skirts with bows sets. So there's this one. with little ballerina princesses and castles and it has a matching hair bow clip. This once more has a snap to open and close it. And then this navy and white one where it has little hexagons on it. Once more it has a snap and I also made a bow for this one. And it's showing up kind of black and whitish on here, but it's actually navy and white. So if you're interested in any of those, maybe check out my Etsy below. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Bye!